Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth Griffin and I'm an indie author from South Philadelphia. And if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so and definitely share my videos with others. So as you know, I've been attending the Romance Writers of America 2020 conference and I've been going to different workshops virtually on the internet and I've been just learning so much. And as I learned, I'd like to share it with you. So today I want to talk about Sierra London. She is a romance writer and she has about 20 books under her belt. It could be more than that. And she's been in the military over 20 years. She is a pediatric a nurse practitioner. And after she left that uh, career, she began her writing career. And her husband is still in the military and she has children and grandchildren. And her workshop was entitled uh, Marketing When the Dough is Low. And I think that is appropriate for a lot of us because we don't have a lot of extra cash to uh, put out for marketing. And so she is going to tell us ways in which we can utilize either a small amount of money or no money and get our product out there and, and start the marketing process. And she uses an acronym called BENP. And it's B-E-N-P. And what it stands for is branding, uh, engagement, uh, networking, and planning. And these are key elements that you need when you are marketing your book. And she touched on each of those uh, areas briefly. She mentioned that with branding, you need to have a, a brand that is easily recognizable and that people will automatically equate to you, the author. And she mentioned that uh, you can consider color scheme when creating your brand. And you can also, pardon me, you can also um, consider font and the type of font that you want to be to use to be uh, to recognize your name uh, font is important she also mentioned imagery uh, what type of image you want to be associated with and the mood of your your uh, color schemes and what mood do you want to convey she also mentioned how important engagement is because you want to engage with your your readers and she mentioned as in the past uh, there were uh, different ways in which to engage with the readers uh, a lot of it would be uh, hiring out like maybe a publicist or something like that to help you interact with the public but now with all of the social media platforms you're able to do this yourself with uh, Facebook Instagram uh, YouTube all of those platforms you can utilize and put your brand out there and with each of the platforms you will have to approach it in a different way like we know Instagram is a lot of images uh, Facebook is videos and uh, text uh, YouTube is a lot of video audio type of things so you need to tailor your branding to the particular medium that you're using and she also mentioned uh, growing a, a, a mailing list so that you can send out maybe texts if you want to choose that way to communicate with your uh, reader texts when you have a new book release or things like that and uh, what I liked about her is she was saying that um, people appreciate when you engage with them, when you as an author engage with them, and then other uh, writers also appreciate when you share information that is useful to the, to the group. Uh, she also mentioned uh, Goodreads. That's a platform that you can go to. But if you go to that space, realize that there, there are readers there, and they're there to discuss books and to discuss their love. They're not there to, uh, to be solicited to. They're not there uh, to have authors try to bombard them with uh, trying to have them buy their products. That space is just for readers that want to talk about the books that they read and enjoy and share. So another thing she mentioned, which I didn't realize, is that uh, BookBub, which is a advertisement uh, uh, business that uh, has a massive email database in which uh, you as an author, if they select you, and they're very particular, if they select you uh, to promote your book, you pay them a fee, and your books are usually guaranteed to be in the, the bestsellers uh list or on the bestsellers list so they're very particular but they have an extensive database and they will do a massive email but I didn't know that they also have a, a platform in which uh, people can follow you as an author so if you have a book bug uh, following that is amazing you can also have uh, Amazon uh, followers and if you reach a certain mark I'm told that Amazon will step in and help promote you so there are a lot of ways to engage with your your readers um, 
uh, and and that is an vital a vital part of marketing. She also mentioned uh, planning, needing to plan out your strategies. Uh, if you have a series of books, that works to your advantage because they know this is not a standalone book. They know that they're going to get another book in a, in a couple of months or in maybe six or eight months or a year, and then you'll get a book after that. So they know that this is not one a one time deal. So with series, you can definitely grow your branding and you can grow your audience. And um, I thought these, th this information was very useful, very useful. And then networking, she was saying, if you create a newsletter and you cr uh, create a, a email uh, database, you're able to communicate directly with your readers and you don't have to rely on other platforms such as like maybe Facebook or Instagram. You can reach out to your audience directly and that gives you a lot of power and then you're not at the mercy of um, of other businesses that may hold the email database. Uh, it is yours to do with as you will and obviously you will use it uh, wisely. You, you will only send out information when it is pertinent and it, uh, it is what the reader would want. So I truly enjoyed the information she gave. She gave a lot of it. She talked about creating a Facebook author page me which she says is different from your regular Facebook uh, page and she mentioned on uh, when you are on social media to uh, to have a presence that is is respectful and a presence that is drama free because uh, you're representing yourself and what the people see is is what they're going to uh, take away from from your platform so you want to be polished you want to be professional you want to keep it on a certain level and you want to be entertaining and, and engaging and accessible to your audience so as I said I truly appreciated her workshop um, I'm going to be bringing uh, more videos to you as I go through the other workshops. Uh, please leave comments below to let me know what you think of these videos, if they are helpful, uh, if you have any suggestions on other topics you want me to discuss, uh, leave comments below. And as always, thank you for following me. Thank you for all of the support. Uh, check out my material also. I'm on Amazon. I'm on Kobo. I'm on uh, Audible. Anywhere audiobooks and ebooks are sold, you will find me. I'm in the library. You can also request my books from the library, and they will be happy to supply you. I'm on overdrive. I'm in so many places and um, and I'm, I'm happy that I'm accessible. So if you want my material, it's out there and uh, please leave reviews uh, after you re read my material. If you like it, please leave reviews and, and let others know about my work. And as always, always, thank you for joining me. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and also YouTube, right? And enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.